last little while, I have been doing a lot of DIYs. I've just been little updates to our apartment and I'm really liking the way the space is looking right now, but we gotta tackle the entryway. Hey, I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for. If you're new to my channel, um, I do new DIYs every single Wednesday. Please subscribe, come back and check out what I'm doing. A lot of it is just how I've been thrifting my way through decorating my rental apartment. But if you have any suggestions on things that you'd like to see me do, absolutely let me know down in the comments or uh, you can always reach out to me on Instagram as well at Janelle Steeper. So the kind of final space that I wanted to tackle, at least in our main, area which is like kitchen dining living entryway it's all one we live in an apartment so it's pretty small um, we've got a little small entryway and I look at it all the time when I'm in the living room because it's just in my sight line and I wanted to update it just make the aesthetic a little bit nicer and match with the rest of the room so that's what we're tackling today just a little tiny mini makeover and I just wanted to share with you how I'm doing it so let's get into it here is what the space looks like now. It was an old mirror we just threw up there when we moved in and that's where we keep our coats and boots. Don't mind that door, it's broken and my landlord won't fix it. And on the opposite side is where we enter in. So the shelf is handy for throwing our keys or wallet or glasses there. I still wanna have a shelf there and I still wanna have a spot to hold like our umbrellas and hats and things like that, especially in the winter time. So I'm gonna replace that box and really, really excited with what I found at the thrift store for it. So I took down the shelf. Uh, here's a great way to pull out wall plugs in case you didn't know with a hammer, really easy. I'm going to fill all those holes, sand everything down, and we are going to paint this wall again as if nothing was here before. So when we moved in, we actually had paint, uh, painted everything. So I still have the extra paint to cover all that up. Now this mirror, I was after a arch mirror for so long and I found one on Facebook Marketplace for just $20. I was ecstatic because this is a really large mirror and they totally could have sold it for more. Anyways, I did not like the frame. It was too thick and it was also made out of foam so it looked kind of cheap. So I'm tearing this out and when you do this, sometimes mirrors are not cut the same way as their frame is. I was worried that the beautiful arch wasn't going to be there and that it could be jagged. There were a few little kind of jaggedy edges and I actually just took some sand paper and sanded them down as best I could to smooth that out. I also had to clean this mirror because whoever painted it before did a terrible job doing it, but luckily all of that came off with a scrub brush and just some cleaner. So I wanted to build a shelf underneath the mirror now to be the width of the mirror. Just with some scrap wood, I have a one by six and a two by three. I wasn't sure what I wanted um, in terms of like how big I wanted it to be. So I prepped, sanded and painted both of these and ended up going with neither one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what I did do is I, I liked the thickness of the two by three, but it wasn't quite wide enough. So while thrifting for this project, I randomly found a two by four stud at the thrift store for like $5, which by the way is really cheap right now because wood is crazy expensive and it was just wider. So it made it work in my opinion. So I painted this twice after giving it a really good sand. And then I also put a clear coat of polyurethane over top. So right now I'm just kind of leveling out where my shelf is going to be. I've already measured the height. I'm now looking for the studs in the wall. I found two of them luckily where my shelf will hit. I'm marking where those studs will hit on the shelf so I know where to drill my pocket holes. So this is something new to me. I bought this apparatus to do this DIY. It was really, really easy to use. Um, just following the directions, clamping it into place and drilling these on the underside of the shelf so that we can make it a floating shelf. Now this is a hack that I found from Rachel Metz. If you don't already follow her on um, YouTube, man, girl is incredible. She's a total boss babe and is amazing. So these shelves are not meant to hold a lot of weight. So that's why I totally thought this option was a great way to do it. But as you can see, it's a beautiful floating shelf. You don't even see those screws and they do need, they need to be screwed into the studs. So you've got to find those. 
So I know this might sound crazy, but I'm actually using command Velcro strips to hang my mirror. They are built to hold up to eight pounds. You can add more for it to hold up to 16 pounds, but my mirror is not that heavy. And um, they work <laughs> really surprisingly well. I've used command strips in the past to hold heavy duty items like my step stool on the wall with just a single hook and it works fine. So just follow the weight limits and the directions. And that is how I got that to lay flat up on the wall and then basically to finish out this space we got a new little doormat i've got this beautiful chest that i picked up at the thrift store i couldn't believe it when i found it and then i found a cute little trinket dish here to hold our keys and uh, yeah, pretty much this entire space was thrifted. I really love the sleek look of it. And I love how large the mirror is now because I can see my entire outfit before I step out the door. Let me know what you thought of this DIY and I'll be back next week with another one. Cheers.